Good day, guys. Welcome again to another English session. Are you guys ready to learn? Okay, let's begin. So for today's lesson, we will talk about paraphrasing or also known as restatement. The first question is, what is a paraphrase? It says on the screen that paraphrase is to express the meaning of one's spoken or written words or statement using different words, especially to achieve greater clarity. So... The next question is, why do we need to paraphrase? Well, one reason is, it shows how well you understand one's spoken words. Another is, to avoid plagiarism or simply copying a piece of information from a source. This should be avoided, especially when writing. And for the final question, where and when is paraphrasing useful? Well, basically every time you use the English language. You paraphrase when you talk to your friends, when you repeat their words for clarification, or to show them you understood what they said. When you do a speech in front of an audience like TED Talk or a public speaking class, or when taking an English assessment test, which has speaking and or writing sections like the TOEFL and the IELTS. So practically, whenever you talk or write, you paraphrase. So with that being said, let us now proceed to our next lesson. The three basic paraphrasing styles. First is to change keywords. Next, to change sentence structure. Lastly is to change keywords and sentence structure. All right, so the first paraphrasing style is to change keywords. Now, read the sample statement. So it says, Australia is the world's smallest continent. Look at what I did with the sample statement. I marked some words purple. These are the keywords in the sentence. Keywords, by the way, are also called important words in a sentence. So, to use paraphrasing style number one, all you have to do is to look for keywords in a sentence, then replace them with their synonyms. Now, read the sample paraphrase. Notice the ones in purple and are written in all caps. They are the keywords which I replaced with synonyms. The word world was replaced with earth, and the word continent was substituted with landmass. But what about Australia and smallest? They are keywords too, right? Okay, so in changing keywords, remember that you do not have to replace every keyword in a sentence. Read the rules below. The first says, leave out proper nouns. In this case, Australia is a proper noun, so you don't need to replace it. But how about smallest? Like I said, you do not have to change all the keywords in a sentence. Plus, the adjective smallest is in its superlative case. Now, there's no rule that you cannot replace a superlative adjective with the word substitute. However, it might be difficult to do so. Anyway, the next rule is always be sure to use synonyms or word substitutes that best suit the context of your sentence. A wrong word choice might change the meaning of the original sentence. When do we use paraphrasing style number one? Changing keywords is often used with simple sentences, especially in writing. Read the example below. It says, Mr. Jarik teaches English. 
This is an example of a simple sentence because it only has one subject, Mr. Jarik, and one verb, which is teaches. Got it? Very good! So, let's proceed to our next paraphrasing style. The second paraphrasing style is to change sentence structure. So, what is sentence structure? In English, sentence structure means the physical nature of a sentence and how the elements of a sentence are presented. Look at the sample statement. It says, Australia is the world's smallest continent but is one of the most fascinating. Now, look at what I did with the sample statement. It is a two-part sentence and notice that I marked each part as number one and number two. In paraphrasing style number two, changing structure, you have to change the positions of the two sentence parts. In this example, you will notice that part number two now comes at the beginning of the sentence, while part number one of the original sentence is now at the end of the sentence. Simple, right? Here are the rules in using paraphrasing style number two. One, be sure that the paraphrased version contains the meaning of the original sentence or statement. Two, choose the appropriate conjunction. And three, as much as possible, your paraphrased version should not be longer than the original sentence. So, when do I use it? As mentioned earlier, changing sentence structure is used with two-part sentences. In other words, it is used when a sentence is not a simple one. It is best used with a compound or a complex sentence or a sentence that is composed of two clauses. Are you ready for this example? Mr. Jarik teaches English and he takes care of dogs and fish. In this example, Mr. Jarik teaches English is one clause, while he also takes care of dogs and fish is another clause. Now, the word end is a conjunction or a connector. Got it? Awesome! So for the last paraphrasing style, it is a combination of the first two. It is to change keywords, at the same time, change sentence structure. Let's again have this example. Australia is the world's smallest continent, but is one of the most fascinating. For the paraphrased version, the part that says, but is one of the most fascinating, now comes at the start of the sentence. And I, of course, changed the conjunction but to although. Then, Australia is the world's smallest continent becomes the second part of the sentence. Also, observe that I did not only change the positions of our clauses, but I also replaced keywords in the sentence, the ones colored purple. So basically, this is how you use paraphrasing style number three. Here are the rules for changing keywords and sentence structure. First, choose word substitutes that would best fit in your sentence. Second, remember paraphrasing style number three may only be used with sentences that have more than one clause. So there you have it guys. The three basic styles of paraphrasing. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Again, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share Teacher Jorik's channel because he will upload more educational videos in the coming days. Bye for now!